Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a virtual try on filter for sunglasses like this. So I will show you how to import the 3D model correctly. Then I will show you how to adjust it. So it sits perfect on your face. And then we will go a little bit deeper and I will show you how to adjust some things here of the 3D model, for example, to make the lenses more transparent. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create a virtual dry on filter here in Effect House. For this filter, we will apply some sunglasses to the user's face. So it looks like um, that the user is wearing some sunglasses. You can use, of course, your own 3D model of sunglasses um, you created on your own or you got from your client. But if you just want to follow along this tutorial, I will link the pair of sunglasses in the description. It is a Sketchfab model, so you can just download it there and then use it to follow along this tutorial. So when you have ready all the 3D files you want to use here in this filter, we have to import those files, of course. For this, we go to the Assets panel and here we click on Import. Then we search for our 3D file, then click on it and click on Open. Here again, click on Import. After we have done this, um, Effect House will create this folder structure for us. Um, yeah, but we now leave it as it is because now we will create some objects in our scene. The first thing we have to create is a head tracker. So for this, we go to add object, then to AR tracking, and here we select the head tracker. After we have done this, um, Effect House will create this head tracker with this head object inside of it. Now we go again to our um, assets panel and here we search for the object, for our sunglasses object. This is the one with the box icon besides of it, not the one with the photos, the one with the box. And now just drag and drop those sunglasses into the head tracker. So it is inside of it and then yeah, you can just check it with open and closing the head tracker object. Now we can already see that our sunglasses are inserted here um, in our viewport, but at the moment they are not um, aligns the right way. So let's change this. The first thing is that we will rotate those sunglasses. So we will select the object in our scene, our sunglasses object. Then we will go to the right side and here we can play around with all the transform values. So the first thing will be that we will do some rotation. So I think the Y axis has to be rotated by 90 degrees. Um, now it is disappeared, but because it is inside of the head, because the head occluder um, yeah, make sure that the glasses are disappearing. This is the thing we have here. This is the head occluder. Here we can turn it off and on. So now we see the sunglasses and when we turn it on again, they disappear. This is um, very important because then it looks more real because when we look to the side, the tempers are disappearing like in the real world. So yeah, that's why we have this head inside of the head tracker. So now we have to position our glasses right. So again, click on the sunglasses, go to the right hand side and now um, yeah, bring it in front of the face. So I think we have to change the set position. Now they are too much in front of the face. Of course, you can also go to the scene here and just um, yeah, adjust the position here in the 3D scene, just drag and drop on the arrows and you can also adjust the glasses here. So I think they are on the right position now, but they are too small. So I will change also the scale. For this, I will activate this. So I just have to change one of the values. So I think I will set it to 1.4. So they look much better now, but now they are too high. So let's adjust the position and make sure they are here on the right position. You can also turn around here the yeah, 3D view. I think this looks right. So now I will show you how you can adjust different parts of the glasses. For example, I want to have the um, yeah, glasses a little bit more 
transparent and maybe in another, another color. So we go to our assets and now it is really important to know that all the 3D models are built different. So yeah, just play around now with your 3D models. For example, we know that the classes are somewhere here in the materials. So we open the materials here in the assets panel and here we find lens. And when we go in here, we can just click on it. Then on the right hand side, this panel opens up the inspector. And here we can just go to Albedo to color. And here change the color and also the opacity here of our lenses. And now we have some red lenses that, which are more transparent. You can also go deeper in your um, object. For example, go to your scene panel and then open the sunglasses object. You see there is a little arrow next to it so you can open it and then you co can go deeper in the hierarchy of this object. For example, when you go really deep inside, you have here the frame, tempers, bridge and lens. And you can also turn off and on the visibility and also change those positions um, of those um, yeah, single components. So yeah, just play around with it. Um, so you make sure you understand your 3D model. And this is all the magic about a virtual dry on filter here in effect house um, the most important part is probably that we yeah create this head tracker with the head 3d model inside because now when we turn it off and on look here here's the temper when i turn off the head now i can see the temper all along the face and this doesn't look real so we have to make sure that we have included this occluder so yeah i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye